I like your picture. Hi everyone, it's Roger and APF Firm, Disney Infinity and Beyond, presented by DisKingdom.com, and welcome to episode number 51. I'm here, Roger, in the UK, and we have um, Abe there in sunny California. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hi, everyone. It's been an interesting week. We are now literally f- uh, four weeks away from Disney Infinity 3.0 hitting stores. I finally got around to playing it this week, so that's always a good thing. Um, and on this week's show, we're going to be discussing the R Disney Infinity poll. We're going to be talking about the villains takeover, talk about the Twitch recap, and then the two of us are going to be discussing um, Disney Infinity 3.0, our hands-on experience, because we've now both been able to play the game. Mm-hmm. So let's kick things straight off the bat, and let's go straight into R Disney Infinity, the poll that the Disney are running on social media and the websites to try and get people's um, choices in for Disney Infinity 3 or 3.0, 4.0, whatever we want to put in there. What are your thoughts on this first off? Uh, I like it. I mean, it's definitely a lot broader than before. I think before it was just on the Facebook group, um, and uh, now it's just all over the place. And I honestly think it's kind of madness because uh, there's even – People building bots and hacking into the poll, and it's it's it's, a, it's yeah. crazy how badly people want certain characters in the game. Right. But but um, it's still cool. I, I'm glad that they're opening it up to the public, and um, they're making it very very well known everywhere. Not not only on their Facebook page and on Twitter, but they also have like we said that poll on the Oh My Disney website. Yeah. But um, interesting choices of characters on that poll as well. Uh, which do you think about that? Well, I'm just just brought up here the um the poll here for um, us to look at. I've just literally just done a vote just to see um who's currently winning. Unsurprisingly, um Mabel and uh, Darkwing Duck are currently leading the way with 47 and 48 percent. Now there, I think there's something going on here. Um, something seems this website just seems to be, and they mentioned it on the live Twitch. Um. There's a massive um, push to get Mabel and Dipper from Gravity Falls into it, and there's, on Twitch TV, even JV said that they're aware that there's a there's bots being used to right. auto vote, which is why if you look at it here, there has been what are we looking at here now? Um, I'm just trying to work out the numbers here. 11 million votes, is that right? Yeah. That, am I reading that right? <laughs> 11 million yeah. votes. Yeah. Of which. Oh. Um, 48, so nearly what's that, going to be 5, 6 million votes just for Mabel and about the same for Darkwing Duck yeah, something's not quite sounding right for that list um, yeah. <laughs> if, if anything I think the uh, the percentages or results aren't accurate but as far as the voting goes, they, they'll still count your vote if you click on somebody yeah. like Goofy or Ariel or something, it's not getting any votes according to that, but um but yeah, no, it's it's funny. I mean, yeah, there's definitely a huge following for Gravity Falls. In fact, I, I even saw um, Alex Hirsch post on his Twitter. Um, uh, it was like one of those campaign things yeah. with Mabel on it, saying that, hey, you know, keep voting for for Mabel. She's still in the lead by a little bit, but uh, but Darkwing Duck's catching up. So yeah, no, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty fun the way they're doing it. They're using social media. And I think they are co- they're collaborating information from all the different social medias um, to f- work out who's in, who's who's favorite, who's got the most bit of information. Um, now, I'm going to kind of put, put a little bit of sort of idea on this. Well, I still think we've got stuff for 3.0 from the Disney side that hasn't been announced yet. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this broad sort of spoke of what they're putting out there, I don't think it's got any relation to what, I don't think there's anything to what's coming up. So if there's a figure in now, if there's a character in that, say for example at D23, like Gravity Falls, you know, it's this actual poll thing has had got absolutely no reference on that at all. It's just pure coincidence that that's ha- happened. Um, so I don't know. I still think there's going to be some figures announced that are on this list and people are asking for. Um, I think we'll see more of that anyway. It's just the Gravity Falls stuff. I think they missed the opportunity last year, and I think everyone had that taste of Gravity Falls, and then they didn't right. quite get it. Uh, and I think there's still that feeling on quite a few characters of like they, you know, like Big Hero Six and stuff, where we've had some of it, but we haven't had all of it, which is what people want to kind of finish things off. It's an interesting list. There's lots of different ones on there, very broad, very all over the place, and people are voting on different ones. Um, 
And yeah, no, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a good way of them doing a straw poll to work out who's popular or who isn't. But also sometimes like media and sort of marketing departments sometimes don't always have their finger exactly on the pulse of what people like at this precise minute. You know, they got maybe a vision that something's really popular, but it isn't. And something that maybe isn't as they don't think is popular and isn't as recent is actually more popular than it actually is. And this allows yeah. for that, that kind of thing. No, yeah, um, I agree. And and I kind of agree with your, your saying that this list not necessarily means that something that we won't get already or that it's in the works. Like, for example, I still f have this little feeling that we might have Gravity Falls in 3.0. Um, maybe figures, you know. Not, you know, We still don't know. D23 is going to give us a lot of surprises, apparently. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, no, like you said, this is this is cool that they're collecting all the data and, and um, ultimately go Darkwing Duck. <laughs> and see, the thing is, for, and I'm going to be honest, see, I'm actually looking at this, the entire other thing and going, I don't really, Gravity Falls, I've watched a few episodes, not really that interested in it too much. Oh, yeah, bad figures and stuff that come out of the game. Darkwing Duck, he was all right. I'm going to be, I was a Chippendale Rescue Ranger fan and a duck and a duck house. Darkwing Duck was not my fate. You know, if you had gummy bears and, and out of the, and, uh, <laughs> and all these other ones, go, you know, Darkwing Duck wasn't as high up on my list as Rescue Rangers or Duck Tales. So I'm looking at it going, and I'm just going, Disney, just chuck these two in there so we can get someone else in there. <laughs> it's just like, let's just get somebody else's name thrown out there. Like, you know, Wally or, um, Robin Hood or someone. It's oh, like, I love I'm, Wally. That would be awesome. I'm, I'm already at that point of just like, just get Darkwing Duck in there and get this out of the way so we can move on. <laughs> well, you know what? The way you, even though you're saying it that way, I, I think, it, let's say he does make it into the game. I think he would be a cool stepping stone to, you know, yeah. DuckTales or yeah. Rescue Rangers and all that. So we'll see. I, I guess what happens. I mean, <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm thinking Chip and Dale are going to come in when the new movie comes out. DuckTales is going to be when the new cartoon comes out. So they're going to be stretching out to when it's relevant. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting thing. I like the fact that um, on the Twitch TV they were talking about, um, I think the discussions with Marvel over doing the same kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. I think Star Wars is a little bit more tricky because they've got to let everything out and see where the line lies because they, they've used up a vast collection. I mean, all there's going to be is Jar Jar Binks and you know, there's there's less big characters in Star Wars to announce as there is with the other cup with the other ones. But no, it's pretty pretty interesting, and I think it's a great move going forward. And my personal votes are for um, Oswald, um, Indiana Jones, and Elliot from Pete's Dragon. Those are my kind of picks for what I like to see. Those are your top three. Yeah, yours. Oh wow! I mean, and we're just talking about Disney, right? Yeah, just Disney. Well, I still think Darkwing Duck is my top. Um, I would love Genie, and um, I guess I haven't put up on Twitter. I've been putting up different categories on Twitter as far as my votes go, but but um, just because I feel like Bean Bong is coming, I'm going to say, um, oh, this, this is a tough one. Mm. My, last <laughs> one will, my last one will be Simba for the quadrupeds, so hopefully yeah. we'll eventually get a four-legged, so... Yeah, and one thing—the thing is, um, let us know in the comments below. Um, you know, use the hashtag R Disney Disney uh, R Disney Infinity. Let us know what you voted for. Who will you pick? I'd love to know what you guys think as well. I think that's that's a that's a cool thing with this kind of sort of thing. It's that it gets people talking. It gets people excited, and everyone's got their own opinion, and, and nobody's wrong. Nobody's you know, if you want to have, you know, three characters nobody's ever heard of, you know. It's it's perfectly fine. But yeah, no, it's it's a very interesting thing, and. You know, just looking at that list from the Oh My Disney blog, that isn't all they're going off of. That's the odd, that's the thing that they that's to remember is that's not an official list, and that's all you're getting. Um, that's true. Yeah, you got to go to Twitter, you got to go to Facebook, Instagram. Just use mm -hmm. the hashtag Our Disney Infinity, and they'll count all your votes. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting to kind of they're doing the live version of Alice the Mad Hatter in that picture, which is kind of interesting. Um, well, it's but, because uh, the movie's coming up. That's probably yeah. why. And oh, I'd love Ursula if they do her Little Mermaid. That'd be so cool. Yeah. So there we go. That's cool. Well, I think we have a visitor from the cat there. We do. And then I was I was gonna say uh, I did see Wally on that list, and the uh, the only w re uh, 
when we see Wally, that'll be when they announce either Chopper or BB-8. That means that they're going to do droids as figures. But other than that, then we probably won't see it. <laughs> no, it's a bit, bit, bit odd, isn't it? It's um, yeah. It's just it's such a great way of kind of getting in the community, doing bits and pieces. So I think that's just a really cool way of getting people into into getting some choices. And it, um, Mulan, and I think Mulan and Olaf were sort of sort of two or three point zero is kind of the same thing because they've done it last year as well. Yeah, Mulan and Olaf, and then they actually also on the Twitch um, cast they they loved um, Sam and Cora as part of the fan requests because technically they did request them. Mm. <laughs> But anyways, no, no that's cool. right. Okay, so um, we're also just going to um, talk um, a little bit now about our next subject, which is going to be. Uh, hey, that's toys- fifty-two. <laughs> <laughs> is it fifty-one? <laughs> no, fifty-one was last week. We're on fifty-two. 